Hey there, Fluidity family. It's Timothy here. It's Saturday morning. I've got a weekend of workshops. We've got one today in the Midlands and one tomorrow in London. Should be a pretty cool weekend, so I thought I'd just get the camera out and film it, share a bit of vlog style, what's going on at Wear the Rope. So just um, had some breakfast. I've just wrote down my plan of action for today's workshop. So uh, I've got to leave in the next 10 minutes. Right, grab the... Got the ropes here. I think I'm ready to go. It's a chilly morning, but it's a clear weekend. Today's venue. Oh, my man, my man, thanks for organising. Yes, man. Obviously, you got classes in here as well. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful, man. Look at this. Fire pit. <laughs> Sick, man. Yeah. Like Wim Hof's got a similar one. Oh, yeah, you got the proper Wim Hof setup. But not bad for wolves, man. Yeah, man. Let's see wolves don't, representing uh, yeah. Brampton, man. Don't know what else in the Midlands is yeah. like this. <laughs> okay. But, um, what, yeah. you've already, oh, that's sick, is that yeah, cooking? Yeah, yeah, so I've got, because I'm building an alien pod. Yeah, man. Oh, someone in there? Yeah, it's someone in there now, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then, obviously, the, the main the stage. The main stage, the main dome. Yeah. Oh. No. Thick, man, you built a little hub here, nice. Big hub. Yeah. Just want to get that calisthenics set up now, right? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. That's the phase, phase two. Phase yeah. Two. But that's a great start next to the bowls, mate. Yeah. It's actually interesting because we've got the bowls, we've got the kids playing football, yeah. and then we've got the cemetery behind us. Yeah, it's kind of. Yeah, mate. It's, it's cool, isn't it? Of life, yeah. Right? <laughs> of life. Yeah, kids strange, playing man. football. <laughs> Old people in the cemetery. Yeah. In the cemetery, yeah. yeah. And, and you're just like. Transition to a different. And you're just like trying to, yeah. <laughs> trying to. I understand it all in the middle, yeah. So I'm back at mine now. I just had a little session sat on the couch. It's such a beautiful place, that little earth centre, and I was looking at some of the vertical clips for Instagram. Um, and I found one, and it took me a while to find the right song, but I think I found the right song with some Nina Simone. <laughs> I have such a love-hate relationship with it, but when you get it right, you get a nice clip, get a nice song. It does feel like a certain cre creative process. Um, but anyway, just had a shower. Gonna go see my niece and nephew. Slap with me. Go on, run that How around. There you go. Now the other way around. There you go. You see that? Yeah. You can let it go. Let the That's all right. The tree protector. I made it here. I think that's a north. Oh yeah, the world's skinniest trampoline. That's yeah. why you bounce on it, and yeah. you get to jump. Oh no, it's high. Go on then. You're not going further. There you go. That's Little big planet, LBP. LBP. Which one is it? Little big planet. Three. Which ones are we LBP complete? Three. Which ones are we completed? One, two. Yeah. And what else have we completed? Little big planet carting. Carting. We completed one, two, and carting, and now we're trying to complete and three. And little big planet four. That doesn't exist yet. <laughs> <laughs> So there's an app I used recently called FreeCycle, which is from a, a guy called Mark Boyle. Irish guy wrote a book called The Moneyless Man, where he lived for like three years without ever using money from that moment, lived in Bristol. And he started a website called FreeCycle. I think he started it. And basically it's where people, it's kind of like Facebook Marketplace, but stuff is free. So rather than trying to make a little bob here and there, use FreeCycle. Anyway, I gave a painting away on FreeCycle. The guy that got it from me recommended another app called too good to go and that is where supermarkets restaurants shops uh, when they've got food that's going to go off and they've just got to throw it away in the bins they give it away 
for like half the price um, on this app. And so this is the first time I've tried using it. And five minutes from my house, there's like um, this kind of pub restaurant carvery thing. And so they had a, a carvery going at, for £3.50. <laughs> I've never tried it. So I'm picking up a vegetarian carvery. It says it's a goodie bag. Um, I'm going to go in and grab it now. Let's see, see what we get. Two guys in front of me, both getting too good to go as well. So I'm just filming it. You're getting too good to go. <laughs> Say it's not cooked in duck no, fat. Everything, everything okay, cool. Yeah. Big up, cherry tree. That was funny, man. I thought like I was the only one, this weirdo on this app, getting some cheap food, and then they were, got there. There was a guy and another guy and his girlfriend, both just. I was like, are they on the app as well, trying to look? And they both just wait till eight o'clock and then they join the queue. I said, are you on too good to go? They go, yeah. They go, just join the queue. I was like, okay. Good off. Cheap food that's going to waste. Oh, fat. Oh, we got some broccoli. Months ago, I did something I doubt any. This guy's my favorite YouTuber about. right now. I went onto the App Store and downloaded five different therapy programs that all promised in one. Been reading another Chico Xavier book, Chico Xavier. And uh, now I'm going to go to bed or brush my teeth, get some rest for tomorrow. Big day driving to London. See you in the morning. Good to the morning, folks. Hey, Professor Sheaf here. Just uh, doing some writing. Fifty-eight pages. What's the word count? Twenty-nine thousand eight hundred seventy-three. <laughs> Coming soon, hopefully. <laughs> Don't know how soon. We'll see. Just gone eight a.m. Having some breakfast. Love this stuff. Pot barley. Basically like my British rice. Got some sprouts, these are just popping up. Maybe have some of these. Hey guys, so I've just driven to London. I'm here a little early, it's about 11.30 and I've just parked up. I've just got to reorganize my bags. Going to meet Ben in about half an hour and then the fun begins. So I can challenge my fear of looking like a show off. Hey everyone, we made it. This is uh, Ben. Hello. And he's chose the venue for today. Somewhere you coach at for the last, how many years you've been teaching? Gosh, I don't know, about 10 years. 10 reckon. years. And you, you're, what you trained in and you kind of coach, you kind of, it's kind of your own take on many different things, right? Yeah, it's a hodgepodge, no one particular lineage from the yeah. natural movement, parkour, martial yeah. arts, dance. What people might know that, uh, I think MoveNat is one of your, it, yeah, it was. Now was. I'm now I'm with the other side, Evolve Move Play. Oh, okay. Evolve Move Play, okay. So, and then the uh, fighting... Well, that's important to me, yeah. Fighting Monkey. Fighting Monkey's a big influence of mine, yeah. Yeah, cool, yeah. man. So these things, some people watching might be related to some of them. They might know you from London. I hear your name mentioned yesterday. Some guy, Paul, like a big guy from Nottingham, mentioned your name. Okay. I don't know, but yeah. Nice your name is good. I see very good things. It said you're a really good coach. Oh, and likes what you teach. Paul. But yeah, so we're out here. Might be a little boggy, but... There's space for 20 people swinging ropes. That's it. The rope past your chest, around your nipple, it's probably just too long. We're going to do four sets to this. Rope in front of the right foot. Drag it and turn the ribs to the left. Flick. Turn. Walking, overhand. Right, that's it. Take a step with every rev revolution. Overhand. And try to bring your hands as close to your ribs as you can to really get the ribs to do the movement. Working from the spine. I mean, in the past, 
working on the, they call it the bowler, this one. Start to really like it. Yeah, I feel so athletic after using the rope. It's amazing. I can't believe the difference. Balavan came down and you do some running coaching and stuff. Yeah, I'm a chi running coach. Chi running, well. yeah. Been about 10 years. Yeah. And you like to use the rope, rope and some of that to... Yeah, I use it with a lot of my clients and uh, it really improves their running like instantaneously. Yeah. Especially the underarm. You know, some people That's really it. struggle with that, but then once they get it, it's like a light bulb moment and then everything changes. So yeah, yeah that's the key one. Awesome. Yeah, we understand hey, we love that the infinity right there. Back at the vehicle, me and Ben are just figuring out airdrop is just not playing ball. Yeah, but, but, you know, <laughs> like, I feel like my dad, I'm not sure what's going on with my phone, yeah. my reading glasses. Any of the clips you would have just seen of me practicing rope, thanks to Ben for getting some shots and Ben for organizing the Rope Flow Pleasure. London first event. Pleasure. Hope to be back. So if you're in London, make sure you come to the next one if you want to come or if you want to travel. Some people say to me, oh, oh I want to come, but it's, it's too far. And like, how far? It's two hours. It's like. Yeah. It's relative, right? Yeah, exactly. It's How nice. often do you get... You, what if that's once a year to practice rope flow with 20 other people? Make the trip, you know, if you want to. But no worries. Anyway, thanks, yeah. Ben, so much. My pleasure, man. Thanks for coming. Cheers, man. Awesome. Yeah, great. A well-earned feet up. Good weekend. Great to connect with some people. Great to share rope flow in person. It really is such a it's so much more powerful of a practice when you share it and teach it in person and people experience it in person yes you can get through it online if you have got through it online well done to you you're a determined person who's able to learn fair play to you but in person it's just another level of special one of my goals this year is to try and do more meetups and workshops especially around the uk at least so i'll probably be back in london in a couple of months if you have a gym or a community and you'd like to share it with them, just get in touch with me. I am at wayofthebrope.com and uh, we could maybe collaborate on a workshop and uh, get this going in person because I think that's how we're going to get it to take off a bit further. Because it's just amazing, just reminds me this weekend, I was saying to someone, like, you do this stuff online and you get the um, the imposter syndrome and sometimes you even have the doubts, like, is it just snake oil? You know, I've definitely had my moments of like, this is just amazing. And then it doesn't really take off or it doesn't, it's not got the traction that I think it deserves, which is fine. Everything takes its time. But you're like, is it just snake oil? You know, and, but then you, you meet these people and these other people practicing in it and people that have done it for a while and they really love it. And they just have this sparkle in their eye about it. They're like, yeah, man, it's really flipping profound. And I'm like, oh yeah, like I feel like it is, but you don't really know. And then there's people that are picking it up for the first time. Some beginners came to the workshops and they're like, man, this is really cool. I really enjoy this. Like it's doing a lot for me. Like it's things are clicking. So yeah, it's just great that in-person experience to share it. Just the collective energy when you're swinging rope and you, you know, getting the brain waves going from the left and the, the right, harmonizing and all that. Barefoot on the grass, something really special. So yeah. Maybe hopefully some of that translates with the camera. Of course, it could never be the real thing, but uh, it can give you a little taste of it. Maybe that maybe maybe you want to come to the next one, um, and maybe I'll see you there. But thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting the channel. Appreciate you. I make this. I make it for you guys, but I do make it for myself. I can't lie. There's definitely I something I get from this. I do make it for myself as well as make it for you guys. If there wasn't people watching, I, I wouldn't do it either. So it's a two way street here. You guys, me. You guys, me. We're the infinity symbol together. <laughs> Peace out. You're nothing but a dirty, dirty old man. You do your thinking with a one-track mind. You keep talking about it.